Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video. And in this one, I'm going to be telling you guys how to use giant bombs at 9 or Town Hall 9, 10, and 11 because it's important to address some of these specific base building techniques. And giant bombs are overlooked, but they can be the difference in defending versus getting three starred, or in the case of Town Hall 11, getting two starred. So I'm going to be going through in this video on these base segments giving my main points about how you should use them at each town hall level. Then we're going to take a look at some replays as well as one of my actual bases and kind of talk about how these points are shown in those replays and bases. But first, let's talk about what I have here, starting with town hall 9, how you want to use giant bombs at town hall 9. Uh, the first thing I want to say is don't worry about trying to kill like a bull or kill squad or something like that with your giant bombs. Their sole purpose is going to be for defending against hogs. You do not want to try to put them in places to kill like a, a kill squad with bowlers in it that's coming through because it's too hard to predict. Oftentimes the golem or king will trigger the giant bomb. Oftentimes they'll have a heal spell anyway. Don't bother doing it. Put them in places that can kill hogs. And these are two good places here. The first one. If you have the expo compartments uh, with the two tile moat around them, which I highly recommend you have at least one, um, even two of them would be good. Uh, we'll take a look at a replay of a base that has these expo compartments. Put them in between the expo and a nearby defense. This is because, first of all, it's difficult to heal because the, uh, the expo isn't extremely close to any defenses, so the heal can't cover a whole lot. And... Um, the expo is high HP, and that giant bomb can get the hogs down in uh, in their H in their in their own HP enough for the expo to be able to take them out one by one before it goes down. So that's one great place to put them. Oftentimes, the attacker won't have a heal spell they can put down, or they won't put it down in the right place. So you can really um, get some hogs taken out in these expo compartments if you put one even two giant bombs um, in them. I don't recommend double giant bombs. You can, I guess, put one on the other side as well. Um, double giant bombs really aren't effective because they don't do enough to kill hogs. And um, if there's a heal spell, uh, it, it won't really do much. And if there's no heal spell, you wouldn't have needed the giant the double, the double set anyway. One giant bomb typically would have been enough. So moving on, another th great thing to do with Town Hall 9 is to put an X a, um, a Tesla on the outside of the base and put a giant bomb next to it. Now, you got to be careful with how you do this. Make sure that it's in a place where there's not a whole lot of other defenses. I recommend just one cannon nearby, and then maybe they have like, uh, or I guess for your base you have an air defense, and then not a whole lot of other defenses, just some kind of dead areas with uh, storages and whatnot. That way they're not expecting to have to use a heal spell there, and if they try to deploy like, you know, four hogs on this cannon, they'll run into the test the giant bomb combo. It'll uh, it'll really take them out because these uh, this three combination with the test of the cannon and the giant bomb can really take out a big group of hogs. Um, so I, I recommend doing that. Make sure, like I said, there's not a whole lot of defenses nearby. Otherwise, they can get good value for a heal spell and they'll be ready for it. But they won't be ready to heal if there's not a whole lot of stuff um, besides that one cannon. And um, I recommend not putting just the giant bomb alone because no troops might even go near it. You need the Tesla there to bring the troops towards the giant bomb and no matter what angle they come from, especially if you slide the cannon over one tile, they're going to hit that giant bomb even if they come from the lab uh, angle. As they go from the Tesla to the cannon, they'll hit that giant bomb. So that's another good place to use it at Town Hall 9 for killing hogs. Uh, use kind of your best judgment for those. Town Hall 10, two good uses. First, put it by a area where a kill squad will likely come through on a La Luna attack because oftentimes you can predict where they're going to send in a bowler or a Valk kill squad and um, you might as well put some giant bombs there because obviously giant bombs won't do anything against air troops so put them where you know the ground troops will be um, especially by like an inferno if your queen's nearby they might try to dive her with a few Valks um, that's a very common thing is to like six valves to dive in one or even two giant bombs in this area can take out a group of valves definitely a group of bowlers and um, that's a really good thing to do because oftentimes they don't have a whole lot of spells and um, you can get some great value so one uh, recommendation you guys will see um, a good example of that in just a moment 
This over here, another great way to use it at Town Hall 10 because the Witch Bowler strategy, very popular, and um, you got to put at least a few giant bombs on the outside of your base, preferably in places where you, you think the Witches and Bowlers will be walking along the outside. Um, a good place is where there's not a whole lot of splash damage. If you don't have any wizard towers or bomb towers, just some point defense. And maybe if this area up here is the top of the base, um, and that's where they're most likely going to come in with their main kill squad, and the witches and, and uh, bowlers are going to walk around this way, then it's a good idea to put the giant bombs right there off to the side. And that way, as they walk around, the witches, the bowlers, they'll hit it. It'll kill, it'll kill most of them, might not kill all of them, but it'll kill the skeletons and the cannons or whatever else isn't here, the point defense can easily pick off whatever's left. So um, I like putting a Tesla out as well. That way, just in case there's hogs or something, you make sure the giant bomb isn't wasted and uh, it can also help take out those witches once they get exposed after all their skeletons are killed uh, because they'll, they'll trigger the giant bomb and it'll most likely kill the skeletons around them too. So... Uh, that's another good way to use it. I recommend at least two to three giant bombs on the outside of your base. The rest of them in these locations where the uh, the kill squad dives are likely to happen. Town Hall 11, only one uh, little segment I built. Basically put it wherever the bowlers or the valks or whatever kind of ground combo is going to come. Um, only for two star attacks. Now, if there's a three star attack on a Town Hall 11 base, it's almost definitely going to be an air attack. So don't even worry about giant bomb placement for that. Worry about it for, for two-star attempts on your base. And um, great places are by Infernos. You can even double up. So you can put two here, especially if they can be triggered at the same time. Because that way, even a heal on bowlers won't save them if the giant bombs trigger at the same time. So see what you can do about that. Like if this expo's not here, as soon as they step up from this Inferno Tower, they're going to get hit by both giant bombs. So put them in places near your town hall. Not too close to it, but not too far away where um, you think that the uh, the bowlers, the valks, whatever is going to be going, um, oftentimes you can predict that kind of stuff and really make them pay for it. So keep them close to your town hall at town hall 11. That all being said, let's back out here. Starting with town hall 9, let's take a look at a good uh, example of a base from town hall 9 with good giant bomb usage. Uh, let me just go down a little ways here. Uh, where are we? Sorry about the weight here. It's um, 17 v 17. Living Pro almost getting the 3 star, but not quite. Uh, let's fast forward to the start for sake of time. few wizards on the outside. Okay, so this one is a stoned hobo attack by um, Living Pro here. Uh, very wide funnel. You can see this guy has both expo compartments, which I really like. Additionally, he has a big buffer between them. You can't jump over this area, of course, with one jump spell. That way, it's difficult for a kill squad to get from one expo compartment to the other. And like I've said previously, one of the main goals for an attacker um, who's trying to do this type of attack is to get both expo compartments, if they're there, neutralized. And in this case, they can't. Interesting giant bomb on the outside of the base. I'm not too sure about that. There's no Tesla there, so he kind of got lucky that anything triggered it at all. But it was near defenses, so not too bad. Uh, this guy also had his Teslas by his, um, his expo compartments, which can go both ways. You can see one giant bomb there. Uh, the kill squad kind of triggers it, but nothing really dies. That'll happen. It's just unlucky. You know, it's hard to predict exactly how the kill squad's going to work. But hog pathing is easier to predict, and you'll see how it works out towards the end of the attack here. Um, so the uh, kill squad making its way through few hogs, but you can see the kill squad won't reach that expo compartment, and that's huge. There's no heal spell. Now, the reason I'm not completely sold on the t on the Teslas by the expo compartment is because a heal spell, if the attacker has one, can basically cover that entire area and get some great value because it'll cover the giant bombs and the Teslas and the expo. So it kind of goes both ways, but you can see no heal spell. That giant bomb is huge because the hogs have trouble taking out the expo, um, especially if there's not a huge group of them, and the giant bomb will take them down in health enough for the expo to pick them off one by one. The Tesla helps out there, so um, definitely recommend putting the giant bombs by the expo, and uh, you should be rewarded for it. Keep them separate from your bomb towers um, because the bomb towers are another way to get the giant bomb type effect. And if you can have, I guess, up to six with your or town hall 
nine, you only have one bomb tower. So you can have up to five giant bomb type explosions if you count the bomb tower. Keep them spread out. Keep them in places where the heal spell won't get much value. Um, some of them on the outside of the base, some of them in the, in the expo compartments. Then keep your bomb tower separate and you should be uh, somewhat good against hogs. Always difficult to defend at Town Hall 9, but um, you, you got to do your best. I think this is a great way to use giant bombs. Uh, doesn't quite get the three star here, uh, Living Pro, and I think the giant bombs definitely made a difference in this one. Um, Town Hall 10 base. Now, I've shown this base uh, before, but I want to uh, make a point about it again just because it really is a good example of how to use giant bombs at Town Hall 10. Um, first, let me just say that uh, I wish I had replays. There actually was a replay from the last ranged war, but they don't last that long, so I couldn't I couldn't get it um, for this video. But basically, you can see. One of the most common places people are going to attack from is the bottom here by the Tesla and stuff. They're going to try to come from here with the kill squad, jump into the Inferno, get the uh, get one of these air defenses maybe, but definitely the Queen, the Inferno, and uh, try to get all the value they can here. Because whenever people see the Inferno Tower, the Queen, and some air defenses in a similar location, they're going to jump at that opportunity. But this is really good bait because if they send in Valks, that giant bomb, plus the Inferno Tower, plus all this point defense. It'll take out Valks so quickly. Um, it's insane. Another giant bomb here just um, on the outside of the base. Also can kill some wall breakers. And I have you know more of them around the base. But um, this is a really good example of putting one by the area where you think they're going to send that kill squad. And what often happens is people jump in. They might get the Inferno. They might even get the Queen. But all four air defenses are still up. They didn't get any archer towers. They got maybe one or two Teslas, probably not the Expo. You can see the air defenses are just far enough away to make it difficult to get them. If you send the Queen in, the Lava Hound's right there to defend. So I'd highly recommend this base in general, but it's also a good example of how to put that giant bomb there just to amplify the damage when a kill squad comes in. Also around the outside of the base and uh, by Teslas, areas where there's going to be uh, witches and boulders walking. Good idea as well. Let's back out and take a look at a at one more attack here from the last war. Then we'll wrap this thing up. Um, where is it? It's a uh, whiz on number one. Um, this was a very good example of giant bomb usage by uh, their top base here. He had good base, did a good job defending, uh, soaked up quite a few attacks. So. Taking a look at Wiz's attack, I'm just for the sake of time going to go times two through the beginning. It's just a queen walk, and uh, I want to focus on the important parts that are relevant to this video. So the queen walk coming down. His queen will actually die, but that's kind of beside the point. Um, kill squad entries. It's a bowler attack. So bowlers, even more so than Valks, are susceptible to the giant bombs. And uh, you can see right here, I'll slow down. They start to move in has two jumps to basically get into that Inferno Tower or into the Tesla area, but the attacker, um, or the defender rather, has experience with this base and puts the giant bombs in the locations where he knows the bowlers are gonna be coming from. So watch right here. Giant bomb right by that um, town hall kills almost all the bowlers. Right there where the explosion mark is by the town hall. Gets about 10 bowlers taken out, I think. Um, awesome stuff there to the attacker. I also like how it wasn't too far out because oftentimes there'll be a freeze heal combo. It was far enough in that whatever heal, heal was on the bowlers, if there was one, there actually wasn't one in this attack, but if there was a freeze and a heal combo, it would have already gone away. So it was kind of that last blow to the bowlers right as they step up for the town hall. The giant bomb is right there. I think he had one on the other side as well. Also one next to the archer tower in that compartment. So just covering that town hall, he knows where the uh, attacker is coming from. It's going to be all around here um, is where the attacker will be coming from because the town hall is so close to the outside of this middle uh, compartment here. So um, good base and a good example of how to use giant bombs. Hope you guys like this video. Hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Quick announcement video probably. I want to announce a few things. So I'll save that for a separate video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. And let me know what you think in the comments. Bye, Sectatron out.